Hey guys, welcome back to Spider Guy, and today we have a more detailed plot leak for Thor Love and Thunder with more specific scenes and stuff like that, and this is likely coming because of the world premiere that happened just a couple days ago in LA at the red carpet. While it does line up with a lot of many other things and seems to be true, be sure to take it with a grain of salt because we can't always trust everything, but I for one do think this is true, so let's hop right into it. The movie starts with Korg telling the story of Thor, which includes a workout montage, a small comedic intercourse scene, fight scenes with the Guardians, and more. At the beginning of the film, the Guardians are jokingly trying to get rid of Thor. Jane Foster has cancer, and Darcy Lewis is there in a very small role. So is Eric Selvig, but he attends on a computer screen. They are trying to find a cure for her. She goes to New Asgard, and the hammer Mjolnir senses her and gives her Thor's powers. The power makes her cancer worse, but Jane knows she's going to die anyways. Gore has a family that died, and he blames the gods. His story is tied to a god named Eternity, which we are told looked incredibly comic accurate. Gore finds a sword that can kill gods and gives him extra powers, so he starts to do so. Thor, Korg, Valkyrie, and Jane go to a god city and see Zeus. It turns out Zeus is evil and tries to kill them. Thor injures but doesn't kill Zeus. At some point in the sequence, there's a huge crowd of gods from around the universe, including a Cronin god, and most memorably a god with only a head and legs. Thor realizes that Jane has cancer and wants her to stop, but Jane wants to help. This is a really emotional scene. The team then fights Gore, and Jane sacrifices herself to stop Gore. Somehow, Gore's daughter comes back to life, and Jane is dead. The end of the movie also included Korg having a kid with another Korg. The first post credit scene is the Hercules one, and Zeus sends Hercules, who is presumably played by Brett Goldstein, to kill Thor, who is with Gore's daughter now. Hercules is wearing basically nothing and has only one line. This scene is setting up a sequel of some sort. The second post credit scene is Heimdall in a white and gray robe welcoming Jane to Valhalla. And lastly, some other things to note, Heimdall has a son with powers who summons Thor to Earth. There is a girl who fights monsters with a plushy rabbit. There's another play sequence like the one in Ragnarok, and it involves Hela breaking Thor's hammer. And lastly, the Warriors 3 are referenced. But anyways guys, that's going to be it. That was the more detailed plot leak, and it lines up with the same plot leaks we've had for the past couple days that I've reported here on the channel, so I'm starting to think this is probably true. And with it coming out after the premiere already happening, I do think this is accurate, and seemingly something they would definitely make. But anyways guys, let me know what you guys think of all this in the comments down below. And if you guys are excited for the movie, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more Marvel news, updates, and leaks coming in the near future, as well as actual footage, scenes, and the full movie from Thor Love and Thunder eventually coming to our Discord, so be sure to stay tuned for that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.